Ah, the anime gamers. In my favorite genre of anime love joke decahedron love triangle fucky juggy muggy comedy <laughs> shit. This anime is great simply because it actually knows how to be a good rom com and not create a massive love joke decahedron anime, which it kind of is in a way, but it makes an interesting spin on it. Kata Amano is a typical high school gamer living out his average student's life. However, one day he has an unexpected meeting with the cutest girl in school, which makes him want to disappear without a trace. This girl, Karen Dendo, is an amazing student who is proclaimed to be the school's idol. She discovers that Amano is a gamer, and this newfound knowledge incites a passionate desire within her to recruit into the game club. Upon visiting the club, Amano is falsely made aware of a side of gaming wildly different to the one he loves so dearly. Tendo is interest in Amano begins shaking up what was an uneventful life, filling it with spontaneity, awkwardness and a little bit of mayhem. As a result, every day becomes a comical battle for Amano's sanity as he tries to adapt to these wild unexpected changes. Anyways, this anime is about the people who play the game and not the game itself. Hence why this anime is called Gamers and Not Games. So this anime is more about characters who are gamers interacting with each other, which by the way, gamers interacting with other people, that's just completely unheard of. The interactions between the characters, all jokes aside, are actually really really good and very very funny and that's what makes this anime set apart from different other harem style anime where the main character has also got the personality of Sanity but all the girls get wet around him because he literally exists. Like that one where that guy goes to a mecha school, the entire school is just all girls and they all for some reason want to do him. Like that's not a good anime, that's just like the average teenager's wet dream. I don't want to watch that. This anime gamers is kind of more like Easter in the way, but if it was an anime and made a little bit more funny and about gaming, because after all, EastEnders is absolute shit. The great thing about this anime is all the situations that the characters get put in by mistake and just by complete stupidity of each character, just doing stupid shit. And that's just what makes this anime so stupid but funny at the same time. It's just got really stupid humor in it and it's great. So, anyways, the characters. The first character, obviously, being Karen Tendo, and by the way, her last name, I think, is definitely a parody of the word Nintendo. And also, she has the worst first name of this entire series, literally Karen. Karen. The next character is Hoshi Nomori. She's essentially Amano, but a short blue head version of him. Aguri. I think that's how you say your name at least. Average pink haired female in anime, but she also thinks Gacha is stupid, so I completely think she's an okay character. Yuehara Tasuku Guy, the popular guy in this anime. He's basically just an undercover hardcore fighting game player. I think he likes like Street Fighter probably or something like that. He's a pretty, he's pretty okay character and pretty funny. Keita Amano, he's a fucking giga chat. This guy, he put every Every single like Genshin Impact player to shame when he asked the girl out in literally four episodes when it takes like three seasons for a character to even admit that they have feelings for another character. Like what the hell? But this guy did it in four episodes, hence why there isn't actually a season two of this anime. But you know, this man's a giga chat. Anyways, now time for the real part of this review. Who is best girl? Oh, I'll give you five seconds to figure it out as I disappear into the underworld. <laughs> That wasn't five seconds, but it's Hoshi Nomori. Why? Because she makes her own games and plays games. What what else is there? Oh, come on, you gotta agree with me. I'm right and I know it. To summarize this anime, this anime is definitely very great and very funny to watch. Simply just because, you know, the characters are amazing, the situations, they're just like completely stupid and don't make sense. And that just makes it even more funny. And also, the whole show is just packed with gaming references. Like in the, f literally in the intro, they reference PUBG, Resident Evil, uh, some space game from the 80s that you probably never heard of. Just general gaming culture. Culture and you know, making the fun of stereotypes of gamers being basement dwellers. It's a pretty great anime. Although, literally within the first like 10, 5 minutes of the episode, it spoils the first four episodes by deliberately pointing out the whole like first arc of what's happening in there. Which is a bit annoying because I wanted to figure out myself what would actually happen, but you know, it's alright still. The anime's still pretty good. Definitely an 8.7 out of 10.